in this video we are going to learn what is api with example suppose if you are new in web development definitely you have here a term a lot that is called api so many person used to talk like what is your api your api is not giving me perfectly response even you hear the term like soap HTTP XML and trust me it's so much confusing if you go on Google and if you search what is API you will get answer like API is application programming interface and so many stuff that is going to create confusion in new web developer so I thought like let's teach API with example so suppose you are a farmer and you have good farming land so now you are thinking let's utilize the land and put so many fruits and vegetable like tomato potato apple even you can put your hen and egg also so now what will happen you have enough sufficient amount of all the item now you are thinking let's sell this whole item to the customer so how you will sell this one whether customer can come to your farming land directly whether are you going to allow no because what will be happen if so many customer will come they can destroy your farming land and you don't want to spoil your all the item so you thought like let's open a booth so now what will be happen you are going to show all the items in your booth or i can say stall here customer can come and they can see what are the item you have here customer can ask the item price and after that they can also purchase for the customer they don't want to understand the planting process or what are the equipment you use and what is the process to grow this whole item for the customer they just need the final product and the final product is like grown apple or i can say the potato or tomato so here customer is asking the price and after that they are purchasing the items from this person and this person is getting the product from his farming land or he can get the product from somewhere else also for the customer the requirement is like get the product for the shopkeeper his work is like clear all the customer doubt and provide his best facility so here i can say the phone booth is the front end where customer can come and they can ask the inquiry or i can say here gui graphic user interface and this shopkeeper is getting product from his farm so i can say like a from the database or backend server and after that he is getting response from the server and he is providing to the customer so this shopkeeper is playing very important role so for now i can say it is a api for now just take a example because he is getting request from his customer and he is providing the final item to the customer so whole one process is going on getting the request and delivering perfectly so now you will ask okay what is here api right so definitely we are going to understand in depth so now what will be happen you are selling your vegetable into a small shop but now you want to increase your business so how you will increase your business definitely you need some kind of distributor or so many restaurant where you can provide your item to them and for restaurant suppose if any customer is coming they are ordering omelet and the restaurant owner is getting the egg from your farm and that egg is going to use in omelet and after that customer is eating so for customer they are just getting experience from this restaurant but they don't know the egg is coming from where or what is the process to fertilize the egg for the customer they are just getting the final item so for now what will be happen the restaurant need to send a lorry to your farming land and from the farm they will get the product and once the product is received the lorry will go back to restaurant so here again the problem will become when so many lorry will come or so many time the lorry will come and you don't have the product so it can again create mess to you so being a developer you always think like okay whenever i will get the request i will try to provide perfect response to the customer or user similarly here you are owner of your farm so you don't want to spoil your reputation or business so now you have to upgrade your business so how you will do definitely you have to think something different so now what will be happen from your land you are getting all the product item now you need to create a warehouse so in that warehouse you can keep all the item all together so now i can take example suppose you are having chicken 
now what will be happen you will create a separate rack where you used to keep all the chicken together similarly you will keep every item like egg tomato potato apple so now what will be happen in your warehouse you have different end point one end point for the chicken one end point for the egg for the tomato and similarly for the apple now you have proper balance thing so here what will be happen now here restaurant owner or food distributor they will send their vehicle correct to your warehouse from warehouse they will say like okay boss i need 500 egg so now what will be happen you will go and from warehouse end point you will take the all 500 egg and you will try to put in the lorry and again the lorry will go back to the restaurant so here you can provide so many items all together similarly at a one time you can get so many lorries so what will be happen all lorry will comes to your warehouse and from warehouse you will get all their requirement and from the warehouse you will try to deliver all the product so at the end the lorry will go back to the restaurant let's understand this whole thing into one picture so now a customer is coming to restaurant or distributor they are requesting okay i need 100 kg of potato so now what will be happen you have all the end point they need potato so you can send the lorry to that warehouse and you can ask okay boss i need 100 kg of potato so from warehouse the item will be delivered to the restaurant or distributor here they will provide the full item to the user so you can see like whole process is going here user don't know like what are the complication is going to get the item and deliver to the customer or what are the process to prepare the item they just need the final product so here they will request and you have to deliver the final product so so just take example like user want to order some vegetable and fruits so what will be happen they knows like okay one website is there that is called foodshop.com so they need to access so how they can access they need a ui where they can access this one now the user is going to use the laptop as a gui graphics user interface from here they can open a browser from the browser they can search foodshop.com and they can see all the items here like apple banana potato whatever but internally for each item some end point is there like apple the end point will be test Slash get apple. So now customer want to know the price of apple. So what will be happen? They will click on the apple, and it will go to the request to the back end, and from the back end it will get the response to that end point, and that end point will send response back to the user like okay, the apple price is five rupees or ten rupees. So you can see one overflow how the process is going. So that's why I have compared this whole example with the farming land. So you can easily understand. So just take another example. Like you are going in restaurant and you are to eat something. So what will be happen? First of all, you need to get the waiter and you can ask like boss, I need this this item. Then waiter will go to the chef and the chef will prepare the dishes and again waiter will provide that dish to the customer. So here waiter is playing like a API. He is getting the request and again he is going back to the chef and from the chef. if he is getting the final item and he is delivering so you can see how the process is going so let's take another example if you still have a doubt so now you want to book a flight so definitely in india we are using make my trip and amazon and so many different website in that website they have different different companies of flight like indigo qatar airways singapore airlines emirate so now what will be happen we are thinking like okay from one place we are accessing all the different different companies flights but actually it is not happening so what will be happen here there is a one user interface that is called flightbook.com that we are going to use and internally they are getting the end point of qatar airways singapore airlines similarly like indigo airlines also so for each airlines they have their specific apis that part customer might don't know but the developer of flightbook.com knows like okay if i will get request like i need to get the flight of indigo then i need to call the indigo api or i can say indigo endpoint and again from indigo side they will host that api so it can look like www.indigo.com slash get flight price so here i want to search like okay what is the price of flight from mumbai to delhi then i will select indigo and from indigo i will get 
all the flights with their rates so here request can be get post put delete so many types of so you can learn once you started the development definitely i will try to cover the all types of request in different video so now what will be happen you will book your flight and after that you will sit in that flight and you can fly i hope this video helps you to understand what is api so for now you can understand api is a endpoint it can be host at any server or maybe one server can call another one server that's it for the day Thank you.